Hi, Jordan Wilson here with Caster Headquarters. And in this video today, we're gonna to be talking about different types of off-road and outdoor tires and wheels, whether it's for your casters or whether it's for your riding lawnmower, your wheelbarrow, or just your outdoor garden cart. Really doesn't matter, but we wanna discuss the different options that are out there as far as the wheels and tires so you can decide which tire option is best for your application. So we'll go and start with one of the most well-known casters out there, and that would be an air-filled pneumatic tire. Now I have one right here that is installed in a complete caster. So this is a complete caster. Sorry, the lighting in front of me is gonna reflect off the metal a little bit. And that's just because we have a really bright zinc plated finish. Now this caster right here is going to obviously have an air-filled pneumatic tire. And you can tell because it has a valve stem right here. Now air-filled tires or air-filled casters in general are going to be the best caster and tire combination for a lot of applications, especially if you want the smoothest ride. So if you want a ride that's going to absorb shock and vibration and that's going to roll over rocks and debris outdoors, then an air fill is going to be your best option. Now, the only downside to it is you do have to periodically check the tire pressure and you will need to add air. If you don't add air, you're going to experience flat spots and that can over time just damage the wheel, the inner tube, or if it's tubeless, it can just damage it over time. Now, these aren't known to have the longest lifespan, doesn't matter where you buy these from. Air-filled pneumatic tires are definitely going to require a lot more maintenance but it is the best tire for a lot of applications, especially if you're protecting expensive cargo. Now, before we move on to the semi-pneumatic or the flat free tires uh, that I have next to me, we'll go ahead and summarize the benefits of the Airfield pneumatic. I'll go ahead and start. The sizes that we offer range from eight inch diameter all the way up to a 16 inch diameter with the eight, 10 and 12 inch diameters being the most popular. Now, I would say the most popular would be the eight inch. And then the second most popular is the 10 inch. You can buy these in complete casters in whatever size you want based on the weight capacity that you plan on moving around. But uh, airfield pneumatic tires are usually seen on band equipment. So if you wanna protect your expensive instruments, a lot of high school band departments and colleges will actually buy the airfield pneumatic tires and casters from us. Electronic, so if you have a very expensive electronic equipment, a lot of people will always buy an airfield pneumatic tire because you're gonna get the best shock absorbing and anti-vibration, basically the best protection from an airfield pneumatic tire. And so this is really a good tire to protect your expensive cargo and equipment. And again, this is going to be the easiest rolling tire outdoors. This is gonna roll over debris, rocks. It's gonna go through different terrains very easily, um, all while built, being a very smooth ride. And I personally have compared the pneumatic air filled with something like this, which is a solid rubber on a plastic core. And I'll be honest with you, the airfield always does roll a lot easier than this one. I just prefer using this one because there's no maintenance. It's just flat free. And so you can just, you can just roll it pretty easily. But if there's like a real big rock in the way, the airfield uh, pneumatic tire is gonna roll over it a lot easier than a flat free or a solid rubber like this one. So basically, now that we've summarized the airfield pneumatics, we're gonna go ahead and go over the weight capacity that these can handle and then we'll move on to the next tire in my hand, which is the flat free. Well, the eight inch that I'm holding here is rated at 250 pounds per caster per tire. Then you have a 10 inch that's rated at 350 pounds. And then you have a 12 inch and that's rated at 460 pounds capacity up to 500 pounds, depending on the ply, the type of ply that is used. And then the 16 inch is rated at 650 pounds per tire or per caster. Anyways, before you use these, most of the time, just go ahead and check the pressure, whether it's just giving it a good squeeze or physically actually checking the tire pressure and looking on the side of the tire to see what pressure is recommended. But I would definitely make sure you keep this maintained and you keep all four tires uh, with equal pressure at all times. So a little bit more maintenance, but again, this is the best tire for shock absorption. And basically it's gonna roll over all terrains, rocks and debris on the ground. Uh, very easily and it's going to protect that expensive equipment. Moving on, we're going to go with a semi-pneumatic tire. This is called a semi-pneumatic tire. Now, some people will call this a flat free tire. 
but not all flat free tires are semi-pneumatics, but all semi-pneumatics are flat free. So there's this one that we have right here. This is a flat free as well, and this is a flat free. But this is a semi-pneumatic, and this is a foam filled. So if you would cut this tread in half, you would see it's filled with a polyurethane foam. If you were to cut this in half, you'll see that it's solid rubber, but it actually has an air pocket in the middle of the tread. The air pocket's really neat is because that's gonna allow the tire to flex a little bit as you're rolling it. So the semi-pneumatic again is my favorite. It's a very heavy wheel. So you know that you're getting a really good quality, it's stout. The core on this is an industrial polyolefin, which is plastic, but it's very heavy duty. I've actually never seen this plastic hub fail before. I've seen more of the metal or steel hubs fail before these, uh, these heavy duty plastic hubs. So what's neat about this, it's not gonna rust. You have a very thick rubber tread. And again, it does have that air pocket right in the middle of it, which is gonna give it that flex. So it's still gonna absorb some shock and some vibration, just not as good as an air filled pneumatic tire. Now what's neat about this, there's no maintenance. You never need to maintenance this tire because it's a flat free. Now, how this is made is this is made with a uh, recycled car rubber tire. And so not only is this tire good for the economy uh, because we're, we're using recycled uh, rubber from car tires, but it's good quality rubber. So you're actually having rubber that was one, at one point highway rated. None of these tires are highway rated. They're not really recommended to go over walking speeds. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't roll this over like three, to five miles per hour at its max. And that's standard for all casters and wheels because most likely these are gonna go on carts. Now for like riding lawnmowers, some of those can get up to like six, seven miles an hour. We have different tires for that. They're gonna have a wider footprint than this one. This is about a two and three quarter wide footprint, but for like a riding lawnmower, those can go a little bit little bit at faster speeds. But this one's mainly for, for like carts, wheelbarrows, hand trucks, uh, dollies, different things like that, or just for outdoor, regular outdoor use, usually at walking speeds. Now we do offer this tire, with an offset hub, which you see here. An offset hub basically means this hub sticks past the tread, and this one is actually inside of the hub. It's, in, it's, it's basically inset. And so we do have center hubs as well. And the center hubs is where it looks like this. It's gonna be flush with the outside of the tread on both sides. And the center hub is basically used for casters. An offset hub is used for your different equipment. So typically your wheelbarrow or your some carts and hand trucks are typically gonna require an offset hub. So we have both options. Now, the neat thing about what we offer on our website is the ball bearings, we have three different options that are pretty much universal. So we have the half inch diameter, we have the three quarter inner diameter ball bearing, and then we have the five eighths inner diameter ball bearing. So if you look at most equipment, they're gonna have rods or axles that your um, tires are gonna slide onto. Well, we have universal fit. So you can kind of measure the, the rate, the diameter, outer diameter of that rod, and you can determine whether it's like half inch, five eighths or three quarter, and then you can basically go and pick your bearing size when you order the wheel on the website. And just to, to pretty much help you find a really quick and easy replacement uh, tire for your application. So the semi-pneumatic tire that I'm holding here, we offer in a lot of different sizes. We offer these in a six inch diameter, seven inch diameter, which is kind of rare, an eight inch, 10 inch, and 12 inch diameter. This is a 10 inch, but the eight inch size, one size smaller than this, actually holds 450 pounds per tire. And then the 12 inch, which is the largest semi-pneumatic that we stock and carry, holds 850 pounds per tire. So these do have more capacity than an air filled. And again, they're gonna be very easy to roll outside, but they're not going to, to absorb as much shock and vibration compared to an air filled tire. But again, you can get this in a centered hub if you want them in a caster, or you can get them in an offset version like this one if you want to put it on like a hand truck or a, or a cart, outdoor garden cart, or, or pretty much anything outdoors. Uh, we have pretty much all the different bearing size options and the different types of hub offset and centered hubs as well uh, with a lot of capacities. Now that is your semi-pneumatic. And again, this is probably one of my favorites, but the air filled is probably the most popular if you're looking to protect that expensive equipment and cargo and roll over debris a lot easier. Just like I said, more maintenance, uh, less maintenance. And last but not least, we have this one, which is a foam filled. It's also called a flat free. This is filled with a polyurethane foam on a steel core. 
So if you were to cut this, there's a microcellular polyurethane foam. Now it's a very lightweight wheel. So if you were to actually like lift this up, it's extremely light compared to the semi-pneumatic and even the airfield pneumatic. The polyurethane foam is really good for outdoors and I'll tell you why. Polyurethane foam is more UV resistant. If you were to leave a airfield pneumatic or even a semi-pneumatic rubber tread outdoors in the UV rays, like in the sun for long periods of time, maybe five, seven years down the line, you may experience UV rot, which is where the UV rays just kind of beat up that rubber over time, which is normal. Polyurethane is a lot more UV resistant. So if you're gonna have something that's out there in the sun for a lot longer periods of time, polyurethane, microcellular polyurethane is a lot more resistant to the sun rays. The only difference is the capacities are not as high as a semi-pneumatic or as an air-filled, and this treads a lot harder. So it's not gonna roll as easy over debris or rocks compared to a semi-pneumatic or especially an air-filled pneumatic. And that's because it's a much harder tread. Now the one downside about this, aside from being really great outdoors, you know, it's not gonna roll as well as the other tires that I showed you, but it's gonna be a good good tire for outdoors, it's gonna last a long time, it's still gonna roll over uh, the grass and mud and different things fairly easy. It's not gonna roll over obstacles, rocks, debris as easy as these softer tread tires. Those can kind of roll over them. This is gonna take a little bit more force uh, to roll over uh, rocks and, and, and logs and twigs and stuff like that that's in the ground. The other downside of this flat-free polyurethane foam tire is that the polyurethane Polyurethane foam, um, if you leave it parked at, at, for long periods of time, that foam can compress and it can flat spot. And so that's one downside of the flat free foam fill tires is it has the potential to flat spot over time. And then when you go to roll it, it's gonna be a very bumpy ride. Sometimes that polyurethane foam can slowly kind of rebound back and kind of reset. But if it's a lot of weight sitting on it for long periods of time, then you're gonna be stuck with a tire that has a flat spot. Now, again, this does have its place. It does have its purpose. If this is going on something where you're not exceeding the weight capacity, let's say you're well under the weight capacity, you're not gonna to have to worry about this flat spotting. Again, since it's UV resistant, you can leave this outside in the sun for longer periods of time compared to a rubber tire and it's going to last a lot longer. It's not gonna experience that UV rot that rubber does experience over years and years of, of, of abuse or uh, just of being exposed to the sun for long periods of time. This does have its place. And next, we're gonna go over the capacities of the flat free foam fill. Comes in a six inch diameter. Um, and this is a six by two, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, so six inch all the way up to a 16 inch diameter. This flat free polyurethane foam tire has a little bit less capacity than let's say the air filled or the um, semi pneumatic, which is that solid rubber tire. Uh, so this one has less capacity because it's just a foam. So it's, it, it's basically more prone to flat spot with a lot of weight on it. So the weight capacities are gonna range from 150 pounds for the six inch and they're gonna go all the way up to 520 pounds for the 16 inch. Someone once told me in the caster industry that the best way to prevent a flat spot is to calculate the caster's load capacity times three. Even though you're gonna use four casters, calculate the total load capacity times three and use that load capacity if it's gonna be sitting long periods of time or parked. Now, although you're gonna have more capacity or, or they're gonna be rated for more capacity since you're using four of them, only use three of the tires loaded capacity if it's gonna be parked and that'll prevent flat spot. So on the six inch, basically if you use four of them, they're rated at 150 each. So that's 600 pounds for four of them. But if you're gonna use leave them parked, just multiply the capacity of one tire times three, which is 450 pounds. And don't go over 450 pounds if these are gonna be parked for long periods of time and you don't have to worry about it flat spotting. Now I'm sure there's some different methods from different engineers that'll tell you slightly uh, different ways of calculating this, but this has been a method used for over 20 plus years in the industry and it's held up very well. So we're pretty much just reducing the load capacity pretty significantly or by one, one caster and that's gonna give you kind of a, a, a safety cushion so you don't ever have to worry about this flat spotting. You have these three different wheel options, semi-pneumatic, you got the foam filled, and then you have the air filled tire as well. Now we have one more tire I'm gonna show you that's fairly new to the market. And um, 
This one's pretty neat. It has that really off-road, um, nuggy look and feel to it. So this wheel right here is kind of new um, in the industry, and it has that really cool, like, nuggy look and feel to it. Um, these have 6202 sealed precision ball bearings, uh, so it's gonna roll very easily. Now, a, a lot, these are marketed to be used outdoors, and it's gonna do pretty good in grass and different terrains but it does have a pretty hard, almost like plastic rubbery feel to it. So I probably would not use this. If there's gravel, it could probably get stuck in between that tread, you know, if there's gravel. So I would probably not use it if there's a whole lot of gravel, but if it's just grass, maybe a little bit of uh, dirt road or something like that, um, it's gonna be a great tire to use. But again, since it is hard, this is a very noisy and very loud wheel. I would not recommend using this indoors unless you don't mind the noise, or if it's just parked for long periods of time, you just want that cool look, then this is a great wheel. Uh, we have these in four different sizes, four inch diameter, five inch, six inch, and eight inch diameters, all the two inch wide tread width. But honestly, I did measure this and it's not a true two inch wide tread width. As you can see from here to here, that's actually 1.5 inches. So it's an inch and a half um, face that's gonna be touching the floor. So it's gonna roll fairly easily. It's just, you're not really getting a true two inch wide. It's really inch and a half. Most outdoor tires and wheels um, have a real like two and three quarter or like a pretty wide footprint. And that's gonna allow um, just a more face contact with the ground, especially when you have outdoor terrains, softer surfaces, like there might be mud or, or it might, might have just rain, so that the ground's a little bit softer. You want that wider footprint, and you also want that wider footprint to roll over uh, rocks and different things a lot easier. So this isn't gonna do as well as a flat free, as a semi-pneumatic, and especially as an airfield pneumatic when it comes to rollability outdoors, but it is a neat looking tire. We sell a lot of them and it's becoming more and more popular just because it's easy to roll and it does do pretty well in grass. So the capacities on these off-road wheels, uh, the four by two, which is this one I'm holding, starts at 200 pounds. And then you have a five inch, which is 250 pounds. You have a six inch, which is 350 pounds. Then you have an eight inch, which is 400 pounds capacity. So these hold a decent amount of capacity per wheel, per tire, um, and they have really good sealed precision ball bearings. And so that's gonna allow it to roll very easily. But again, it's a harder tread and and I would not recommend rolling this indoors. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful and we gotta go over the semi-pneumatic, some off-road, some flat free foam filled and air filled pneumatic. And I hope I was able to touch base on all of the different types of tires and wheels in the caster industry. That way you can become a little bit more familiar with the qualities and characteristics, the benefits, features, and the pros and cons of all the different wheels for the different applications. So if I missed anything, just comment below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and please hit that subscribe button. That really helps our algorithm and that really helps grow our YouTube channel and get a little bit more visibility on our caster and wheel tutorials. Visit our website, casterhq.com, that's C-A S-T-E-R-H-Q.com. You can find all of our products there, and I will also post all the links in the description below. So, thanks for watching.